It's hard to make a V6 sound good, especially when you're used to daily driving a V8 all, all winter. Um, what I ended up doing, I've been through like five different revisions on this thing. Uh, but these, I mean, I've kept the, the intercooled Borla tips through the whole thing because they look amazing. Uh, but this is a knockoff Magnaflow fiberglass muffler. Um, run of the mill, 30 bucks. It's uh, some cheap grade of stainless. Um, the other muffler here is a knockoff stainless um, Total Flow chambered, which sounded like garbage. Um, and before I had a Dynamax VT that had the valve in it that only opens up when it builds enough back pressure. So it's quiet most of the time and then it's loud when you hammer on it. Um, the, uh, the VT would kind of let out little farts here and there though, when enough back pressure build up, a little fart, fart, fart. When, uh, especially if you like higher RPM, letting off the throttle, that sort of thing, uh, on D-cell. And I can't stand that fart crackle pop stuff. So, uh, what I ended up doing was cutting the, cutting that thing out, um, of the Dynamax muffler itself and uh, putting it inside this one, this small chambered muffler. Dynamax VT valve. Cut it out of the Dynamax muffler. Put it in my double muffler contraption. Straight through when the valve opens up. Uh, and then with the fiberglass pack muffler after it, uh, it kind of dampens any of those little farts that the valve does let out. And it sounds pretty good. It works decent. Um, it, uh, I'm finally happy with the exhaust on this thing, I think. So I think it sounds perfect now, volume and tone. Um, took like five revisions, but I don't think you'll find a better V6. And if you think you do, drop it in the comments, but I'll bet it's garbage. <laughs> uh, I'll put more info in the, uh, in the description. Check it out.